Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to sit down and play with the new Sea Turtle Collection from Shantikai. I went to my local Neiman Marcus this morning and my one goal was to pick up this collection. I skipped out on the holiday collection because I couldn't wait for spring and I'm very happy that I waited because this one goes towards a sea turtle initiative and that's something that I love. I lived in Charleston, South Carolina for a while and now I live in Florida and I was really happy to see that they're doing something for or sea turtles this time around. And if you're not familiar with Shantikai and what they do, basically they release different collections and most of their products go towards an environmental cause. So you can read about all of that online. They actually have an entire page devoted to the sea turtle initiative that they're doing. And it's very beautiful. The story is they have lots of pictures. They even have a song that you can listen to. It's such a beautiful story. I wanted to share something here. So it says that it's created to support Amazon conservation team and their ancestral tides initiative which unites indigenous communities to protect turtles and their coastal marine ecosystems I wanted to point this out from their website because I thought that this was really interesting it says there are several turtle conservation efforts in the coastal areas of the Americas but none of them integrate their spiritual and cultural traditions into the program framework so basically and I'm summarizing here the ancestral tide connects five indigenous groups across four countries to provide protection for sea turtles because protecting them on one coast wasn't enough if they could just go to another coast and be in danger. So I love that they are thinking about the way that they are connected to the communities in various countries. And it's just such a cool thing to read about. So I'll link that down below if you're interested. So now let's talk about the makeup. So there are two different color stories here. There's a warm and a cool. And I ended up going with the cool trio. And on their website, it says that these are three cool tone shades inspired by the ocean in pearl, shimmer, and satin finishes. So there's shade one, opalescent lilac, shade two, shimmering pearly peach, and shade three, golden bronze. And then in the warm palette, there's burnished olive, seashell nude pink, and champagne pearl. I typically gravitate towards more cool tones. I was very tempted with the warm tone palette because it didn't seem that warm to me and the olive shade is beautiful. There are also four lip cheeks in the Sea Turtle collection, two that are cool tone and two that are warm tone. I picked up Coral Vine, which is described as a petal pink. There's also Star Flower, which is described as a plum nude. And then in the warm collection, there's Ginger Lily, which is a warm coral, and Rosia, which is a fresh pink. On their website, these are described as a smoothing, hydrating lipstick infused with hyaluronic acid for lips that look brilliantly glossy and plumped. I love that the sea turtle is featured on the packaging of both of these. I think they're so beautiful. I love the two tone of this, how it's a dark turquoise on one side and a lighter turquoise on the other. And I just think that these look so beautiful and luxe. And then of course, I love the sea turtle embossed on here on the top and that it's this beautiful metallic gold packaging. So I'm very excited to use these. I pulled out a lot of my other Shantikai products to try as well. So let's go ahead and begin. So I'm going to start first with the Future Skin Oil-Free Foundation from Shantikai. I'm in the shade Alabaster. I started using this about a year ago, and I really, really like this foundation. At first, I wasn't too keen on it because it is in a jar, and I just don't like to use foundations that are in a jar. However, I have to say the formula of this is what won me over. It's made with 60% water, and it's supposed to be really good for sensitized skin. So if you have sensitive skin, if you have rosacea, like, me. It contains aloe and chamomile and what I love about it is the way it feels when you apply it to your skin. It has such a nice cooling effect and when you live in a warm climate like I do, it is very needed to have something like this. It is something that I love to use during warmer months. So what I found works best for me is using a little spatula and putting it onto the back of my hand and working from the back of my hand rather than dipping my brush into the jar. I just think that that can get a little messy. So I'm just gonna use this BK Beauty 101 brush to kind of buff it into my skin. And that's another thing is that it took me a while to figure out how to apply this, what kind of tools to use. I tried using my fingertips and that worked okay. But at the end of the day, I found that working with a more fluffy brush like this and kind of just pouncing it into the skin works best. 
What I love about this foundation is that it truly feels weightless. That's the thing about Chantecai products. They just have such a natural feel. You don't feel like you're wearing makeup when you wear their products and they just lay on your skin so nicely. Everything has a weightless finish. You can see how I'm kind of just pressing it into my skin. It's almost like I'm pushing it into my skin and just blending it in that way. On their website, they say that this is a medium to full coverage. I think you really do have to build up a lot if you wanna get a full coverage from this one. I would say it's more of a medium, very natural type of coverage. I would say that this is one of those your skin but better foundations. It really feels like your skin. It just allows your skin to breathe. It really feels weightless and it has the right balance of hydration. I'm not sure what award this foundation won, but I do know that when they have it on their website, it says award-winning foundation and I think it's one of their best-selling products. So I'm curious to look up and see what award. I'll do that when I'm editing this video and pop it in right here. So I went ahead and filled in my brows off camera and now I'm gonna move on to bronzer. So when I was at Chantecai, I picked up another Radiance Gel Bronzer. I've used this in the past and I haven't had it in my collection in a while. And I kind of forgot how much I loved this product. Now this is a fluid gel bronzer. And the first time that I used this, I remember thinking, wow, it just, looked like it would be too warm and deep for my skin but it is so beautiful because a tea tiny little bit goes a very long way and it just gives such a nice luminosity to the skin what i love about this is that it doesn't have a lot of shimmer or glitter in it it has a very slight luminosity a little tiny bit of light reflecting particles but nothing off-putting it's very natural looking i'm actually going to use the 112 brush from bk beauty for this and just i'm taking a little bit onto the back of my hand and kind of dabbing it out because it is easy to go a little too heavy with this product because as you can see it is pretty pigmented so I'm just gonna go a little under my cheekbone to add a bit of warmth you can see it already see how beautiful and this just looks so natural and with it being a gel product it just melts into your skin it doesn't feel like you have makeup on in fact I would sometimes just wear this on top of my sunscreen and just to add a little bit of warmth a little glow to my skin and not wear any foundation at all if you heard that that's my dog mickey um he is right here snoring right next to me he'll make these little snorts and grunts every now and then and i always feel like i need to say what that is otherwise you're probably like um what's going on over there but do you see how it just gives a very nice glow i hope it's coming up on camera but from what I can see, it is so beautiful. And I was very nervous when I first, like I said, when I first started using it, that it was too warm, but it just melts into the skin in such a way that looks very natural, very sun-kissed, and not too muddy. It just gives a really nice glow to the skin. I'm really happy to have this in my collection again. I don't know about you, but I'm so excited to use this eyeshadow trio. So I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. So I'm gonna start first with what they're calling this opalescent lilac shade. And I'm just gonna put a wash of that all over my lid. So I'm using just a flat shadow brush for this. Hopefully you can see it. Now with Chantecai, it's very light. So you're not gonna get something super, super pigmented. But I appreciate that. Like I said, this is more of an everyday eyeshadow look and their products are more for everyday. Ooh, that is very, very pretty. I love the luminosity of this. It's a very beautiful sheen. Really natural. Hopefully you can see this. It's just a beautiful lilac sheen. Very, very natural. Now I'm going to go in with this middle shade here, what they're calling a shimmery pearly peach. And I'm just going to put that right onto the center of my eyelid, just as a little pop. And I'm going to use my fingertip for this. That's very pretty. I'm actually going to take it into the inner corner. That added another kind of look to that lilac where now you get some of that champagne color with the lilac and it just looks so pretty. It just, to me, this is perfect for spring. 
see how the light just hits it it's so beautiful and the shadows feel really nice and soft i actually like this combined with the lilac so much i'm going to take it across my entire eyelid it just adds a really pretty dimension to that lilac shade so now let's go in with what they're calling golden bronze here on the end and i'm going to do that in the outer corner just kind of right here along the edge in the outer corner of my eye and kind of pull that a little up into the crease Ooh, this is a very beautiful color i'm going to use this blending brush this is the 202 from bk beauty this shade is definitely the more it's not matte i wouldn't say it has a very slight sheen the other two have a little more luminosity I could really work that up if I wanted to with the bronze and go make this a bit more smoky, but I think I'm kind of liking where we're at right now. I want to put some underneath on the lower lash line as well. I'm going to use my Sigma E30 pencil brush and just kind of sweep the bronze along my lower lash line. If you're looking for a ton of color payoff, you're not going to get that with Shantikai, but that's actually what I prefer with eyeshadows. I just like a very soft, natural, everyday look. If you're someone who prefers a more soft, everyday look like me, these are perfect for you. So I want to use this champagne shade in my inner corner on my tear duct. But before I do that, I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer, clean this up a bit, put on my eyeliner and mascara, and I'll be right back. That's really pretty. It just adds a nice highlight to the inner corner. Just kind of brightens up your eyes. I really love the combination of that champagne with the lilac. It's so pretty. I got so excited to use the eyeshadow trio that I forgot my blush. Cannot forget blush. So this is the one for the Monarch Butterfly. So you can see the butterfly here embossed. It used to have a really beautiful overspray that went away um, the first time that I used it. So it didn't really last for very long, but this is a gorgeous, uh, soft, rosy pink color. It's very light pink, but I just think that this will look pretty with the lip color that I got. I like their blushes because they're very soft and buildable. Just a very natural rosy pink flush. I think this color complements the lilac and the peach shade really nicely. It looks very, very light in the pan, but as you can see, it just gives a nice, soft, rosy pink flush. Okay, now time to play with the Lip Chic. I've been looking forward to this. And if you're not familiar, it comes in this rectangular tube. But what I like about these is that they're magnetic but I love these. It was hard to decide which one to get because the cool and the warm both look so pretty, but I ended up going with this shade because I feel like I'll wear this one more and it's just a nice, pretty bright pink. If you're not familiar with their lip cheeks, they also have a very nice light vanilla scent. I really like that. Some people don't like scented makeup, but it's not off-putting. Mm, these are so hydrating. Mm, that's such a pretty color. Oh, it looks so nice with the eyeshadow colors. I'm definitely more of a lip balm gloss type of girl. I like something hydrating. I don't want it to feel very matte or drying on my lips. So these are one of my favorite formulas. And this shade is so pretty. I think it looks really nice with the cool tones and the eyeshadow. It's such a beautiful, bright, corally pink that I think I'll wear a lot this summer. And in the warmer months, I'm really excited to wear this one. All right, so that completes the look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me me and letting me try out the Sea Turtle Collection products. I really, really love the way that this turned out and I'm very happy with my purchase. I do kind of regret not getting the warm palette. It may be something that I choose to pick up or I may just try to practice self-control because I know that there's other spring collections that are coming out that I'm going to want to get my hands on. So I think I'm just going to hold off. I think I can do it. But thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps YouTube show my videos to other people who may like them too. But thank you so much for being with me today and I will see you again very soon.